Picture this, you step outside, but nothing is familiar. The sky is tinted orange, the air feels heavier, the ground shakes under the weight of creatures you've never seen before. No dinosaurs, no mammals. Instead, Earth is a parade of alien worlds, each one stranger than the last. Over the next few minutes, you'll travel through seven forgotten ages. Each one will rise and then end in disaster. And without them, dinosaurs might never have existed. Let's go back, way back, to a time when life had just begun to get weird. Cambrian explosion, oceans come alive. 540 million years ago, you'd better like water because there's nothing else. No trees, no grass, no life on land at all. But in the oceans, it's chaos. Creatures appear out of nowhere in an event scientists call the Cambrian Explosion. You see trilobites scuttling along the sea floor, armored like tanks. Strange predators like Anomalocaris cruise above them with spiny arms and jaws shaped like a camera lens. Some animals are shaped like spiky cones. Others look like they were built by a bored toy maker. It's as if life figured out how to get big and dangerous almost overnight. Why it happened so fast, we still don't fully know. But this boom can't last forever, because soon the ocean's rulers will face their first big test. Ordovician seas, giants, and an ice age. Fast forward to 470 million years ago. The oceans are still the center of life, but now they have new kings. You swim past giant cephalopods like squids trapped in long cone-shaped shells. They're over 10 feet long and hunt like torpedoes. Below them, coral reefs appear for the first time, packed with sponges, shellfish, and armored fish testing out new body designs. It's a thriving alien underwater world until something terrible happens. The climate shifts, ice sheets grow, the seas get colder and sea levels drop. This triggers one of Earth's first mass extinctions, wiping out about 85% of all species. But life isn't done yet. It's about to take a giant leap onto land. Silurian land rush, green shores. 440 million years ago, Earth's coasts are changing. For the first time, the shores are dotted with small, mossy plants. It's the start of something huge, plants making the land green. Tiny arthropods, scorpions, millipedes crawl along muddy banks. They're the first animals to live outside water. In the seas nearby, jawed fish rule, moving faster than anything before them. It's a quiet revolution, and soon it will explode into the age of fish. Devonian, the age of fish. 390 million years ago, oceans are at their peak. Placoderms, giant armored fish, dominate the seas. Some, like Dunkleosteus, grow longer than a school bus and can crush prey in a single bite. But something amazing is happening in the shallows. Lobe-finned fish develop strong fins, almost like legs. Slowly, awkwardly, the first amphibians crawl onto land. It's the beginning of animal life outside the ocean. But the Devonian doesn't end peacefully. A series of extinctions hits, and the seas lose many of their biggest predators. And what grows in their place? Forests, but not like the ones you know. Carboniferous, the swamp world. 350 million years ago, Earth is hot, humid, and covered in massive swamp forests. Plants here grow over 100 feet tall, their trunks straight and smooth like columns. The air is rich in oxygen, far more than today. And that means giant insects. Imagine a dragonfly, Meganeura, with a wingspan as wide as your arm. Millipedes longer than cars crawl through the undergrowth. Amphibians grow huge and hunt in dark, murky waters. All that plant matter will one day turn into coal, the same coal humans burn millions of years later. But continents are shifting, and they're about to crash together, forming one giant landmass, Pangaea, Permian. The desert of death. 290 million years ago, Earth looks very different. All the continents have fused into Pangaea, stretching from pole to pole. Vast deserts cover its heart. Here, the rulers aren't dinosaurs, not yet. They're synapsids, reptile-like creatures that are actually more closely related to mammals. The most famous is Dimetrodon, with its giant sail-shaped back. It's not a dinosaur, but it's the top predator of its time. The climate swings wildly between extreme heat and cold. Volcanoes erupt, pumping poison into the air and oceans. Then, disaster. 
the Permian-Triassic extinction hits, the deadliest event in Earth's history, 90% of life vanishes, the seas turn toxic, forests collapse, even insects suffer massive losses. It's the closest life has ever come to total wipeout. And yet, a few survivors cling on. Early Triassic, the road to dinosaurs. 250 million years ago, Earth is almost empty. The land is bare in many places. Oceans are quiet, with only scattered survivors. But in the shadows, new creatures begin to appear. Small, quick archosaurs run across the dusty plains. They'll one day split into crocodiles, pterosaurs, and dinosaurs. Strange reptiles fill the gaps left by the Permian disaster. Amphibians, once rulers of the swamps, now cling to life in shrinking wetlands. Ecosystems slowly rebuild, and when they do, dinosaurs will be ready to take the stage. You've just crossed 300 million years in a single journey. You saw alien seas, endless swamps, and creatures that make dinosaurs look ordinary. And you learned something important. Without these worlds and the disasters that ended them, the age of dinosaurs might never have happened. Every rain begins with something else falling. And before dinosaurs, Earth's throne passed through the hands and fins of some of the strangest rulers in history.